Hello and welcome to the next episode of this multiplayer YouTubers free for all of Dominions 4. As always, please keep be careful in your comments below. Make sure that you don't give me spoilers information that shouldn't have regarding the other people's casts. Okay, so some stuff has happened. Vanham is giving me gold from shared income from the water provinces. That's the agreement that we have. Birdiebot has claimed the brass throne, which is mm, not fantastic. There was a battle in Summerlands. Um, yeah, so I attacked this province two turns ago. I failed. I hired some mercenaries. I'm doing it again. What's interesting? Oh, maybe it's a little bit interesting. We've got Drake Mallard, the commander. He is leading the forces here, or my forces. I've also got some mercenary forces here as well. He's not leading those because he, who wants to lead dirty mercenaries? So, yeah, this is quite a nice province. It borders Shinyama and Vanheim, so it's fairly secure from that perspective. Not really quite sure what to do with this army after I've conquered this province. There really isn't an obviously natural place for him to go. Maybe I just sit him up into one of the independent provinces that's not pulled in the province. I'm really actually just not sure what to do with this force, but it definitely looks like I'm going to win this battle. So that's fantastic. Okay, I have also attacked Might Marsh. I attacked Asphodel. This is a province in my cap circle. Everyone I talk to seems to think that I'm totally okay and legitimate in doing this. Agathar, of course, is apparently incensed and has declared utter destruction for me for doing this, which I'm actually totally okay with. Um, it's bringing Vanheim on my side. It's given me a, a, effectively a CB that everyone else will recognize to go after Agatha, so this I think has really actually worked in my favor. I'm not scared of Asphodel. Um, I think I actually have a very strong army in the game at the moment. I haven't seen anything that's particularly bigger or scarier, or I mean I know I haven't. Um, I haven't seen that much of other people's armies, but could it be that my army is the strongest in the world at the moment? I wouldn't be too surprised if that's true. Van Hammer has sent word that his army um, has been defeated by Ermor, who is breaking the siege. So I've got almost no information about Van Hammer's army. I've also very limited information about Agatha's army as well. I know Vega War consists of, but um, I haven't seen much of it. So that Earth 2 Earth Gems, which is, well, I'm not going to complain. And 100% uh, tax, which is fantastic. And these mercenaries have left, but I got some value out of them. I'm not going to complain. I didn't want to send actual units in here because I wasn't really quite sure what's going to happen. So I was quite happy to send mercenaries in there as well. So this is the situation. Um, Agatha is up here. I really don't know much, actually, about Vanheim's domain. I think he's mostly up here. I don't quite know how high he extends up over here. I've been so preoccupied about the going-ons in my own empire that, and my own personal survival, I haven't really been watching Van Nine, but I think it's quite clear at this point that we're going to have to gang up against Van Nine at some point, but I'm going to have to kill Agatha first, I don't really have much of a choice in that matter. So, let me move my spies first. Um, I don't think it's become that relevant to have these spies over here. So... <laughs> That's tactic. It was once again going to march down this trip. This has been such a monumental disaster. Marching in, running back, marching in, running back, not being able to complete it. It's just... He has been so saved by this choke point of geography that we can't really coordinate each other. Um, lots of uprisings here, um, which isn't going to suit him very well. But this by... Um, another spy over here. I've got a lot of spies on the map, actually. It's a bit worrying that I know so little about their main armies. So, this is some lands. It's a fairly, it's a good province actually. Um, but it doesn't have many resources. So I think I'm going to put this into a province where I can get resources from. <clears throat> uh, I think Satala is actually pretty good because I can put Shamblers. And that will give me access to the ocean. So I think I'm going to throw my forces in there. And unfortunately, this commander is just going to... So, sorry, Drake Mallet, I gave you that position because there was a battle to be fought, and you did fantastically, but right now, you're just going to be on holiday in Chandler Reef, which doesn't seem awful. 
just securing the far side of the empire, and um, maybe you'll get a water item and take a water province with Shambles. There's a distinct possibility, and that's why I'm leaving you there. It gives me an entry into the waterway, and that's too important, especially because there is a throne in the water. This army consists of many shark knights. Ugh. But Shambles are pretty good. The good thing about Shambles is that they cost no resources or one resource, so I can just build a ton of these a turn. They're not very good, um, but I can have lots of them. And that's what you need. Okay. So I've got spies here. Move up. I just need to know what's going on. Uh, what is very nice about... That's a dead end province. Um, what's very nice about Agathar is these provinces are free from, in, from enemy military units. Which I think means that they are totally free. So I think it means I can attack them with spies and conquerors. I think that's the way the way to read this. So I've got most of my spells up that I need. Um, this is my army. Ah, first up, I have 1,060 gold, which means for the first time I can actually build the frickin' uh, I can build this frickin' castle in six months. It will exist for the second half of the game, uh, time-wise, so there will be value in it. Um, I finally get it, which is fantastic. Um, I am an it to do with my commander. Oh, build castle. What do I do with my what battle moves? Do I search or do I claim the throne? Um, the throne just basically just spreads dominion. I'm not really sure how to interpret increases magic. Uh, but... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's full. The, well, yeah, I think it's going to change this the drain to magic, which doesn't really bother me much at all. It does mean that I do if I do have non-mandate researchers, which I don't have any of, they might go to research here. But otherwise, I think I'm going to search first and claim second. Uh, the whole appear weak thing is, you know, still foremost in my mind. I can recruit a scout here. I think I've got enough scouts down here. Can you have enough scouts? Scouts are cheap, right? They cost 25 gold. They cost like 2 gold to maintain a turn. They're too cheap not to just build every turn. I think that's the way I'm going to interpret that. I've got a scout up here. I'm going to leave this spy up here. Or do I want to leave him in the castle? The problem is I'm moving the castle and I can miss any army coming down here. There's this army up here. It is small. 20. Uh, this can't be his main army. But I am going to move my main army into Might Marsh and then I'm going to decide which and how to attack these provinces. So, let's do army setup. This is. Um, and because I'm just trying to get more money, I, I'm starting to build black plate pioneers instead of ordinary pioneers. The only the differences are they have more protection and they cost more resources. They cost the same amount of gold, so their upkeep is the same. The only reason to build these guys is if you don't have enough gold to build the Pythoneers, and I was trying to save on that because I was trying to, um, because I was trying to get money for my, why can't I say this? Castle, that's it. Wow, this is actually, this is actually, <laughs> I'm really happy with what I have here. So that's going to move up here. And I think I'm going to set all my priestsmiths with this army as well. You know what? I'm not going to send all of them. I am going to send all of them. I anticipate a big battle with Agatha. And... Uh, to destroy their main army. So I'm gonna do that. So if I push Y, is it Y? I can it selects all units that are gonna be participating in this battle. So I can need to make sure that all of the priestsmiths and everyone is behind the main battle line in a spot. I want to distribute them a little bit. Make sure they aren't all clumped up. And the reason is I'm going to use them to cast some legions of steel now. That will further increase the protection. And it's a radius of effect. 
how that works. So you kind of want to spread out a little bit. I know this is super fun to watch at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's Divine Blessing, sure. Seven of Courage, sure. And then I'm just going to have him on just cast spells generally because if he dies, like the whole army routes, and that's just terrible. Uh, Zaria McLeod, the heroine, <laughs> um, just on hold, 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 stay behind troops, just basically don't die, lead your armies to victory, and everything will go well. I'm, due, I'm approaching a leadership issue actually in this army. So I think it might be time to actually build a new army, com a new army commander. And I think I know what I'm going to do. Actually, let's first set the spells. Because it's different now. I'm going to do summon earth power. Oh, I'm going to do summon lesser earth elemental. Summon earth power. And then... Legions of Steel. And then I don't actually want to reveal my Iron Bolts yet. Because my army is so big, it will kill everything that is even thinking about coming onto um, Might's Marsh. Uh, target enemy sets a blaze, the spell ignores enemy armor, but it's not always very strong enough to kill the victim. Also, rain or snow will put the flames up very quickly. So, both meld, army of Achilles. I'm looking for a lesser spell, really. Fire darts. With this spell, mage can fire many burning missiles towards his enemy. A powerful fire mage can fire the darts in rapid succession over a long range. Uh, the spell is quite useless against heavily armored men, and is best used to eliminate or scare away poorly armored troops. I think this army is actually pretty strong. Magma bolts. Three bolts of magma shoot towards enemy at high speed. Anyone struck by a bolt will most likely die, and is protected by very heavy armor. Um, the problem is, I, if, if he, if I cast magma bolts and he's smart enough, he'll understand that I have iron darts, which is not really what I want. Actually, let's just go with magma darts. This is just misdirection. I don't want to reveal how strong my army is yet. I know I'm not going to get into a proper fight next turn. So that's control one, and then I do one, one. I'm actually going to change this up a little bit because I actually don't need everyone to cast Legions of Steel. So I'm going to take this guy. And then delete legions of steel. And I make him control two. And then every second one can be control two. And then and then they can just do what they're gonna do. Okay, so Donum is who I want everyone to be on, because he's got some Spearman to Guard Commander. So I put him over there, on the Heroine. And then I'm going to put my Prophet on the Heroine as well, because I can actually see the Heroine. Okay, and I think this is a very, very solid army. So... Yeah, I think we're actually going to war, and that's quite that's quite exciting. In actual Ulm, I think it might be time to get a Lord Guardian. And the reason for this is I need the leadership, anticipate, and he's actually got or halt heretic, and 
This being is surrounded by an aura that's also bright and sacred beings of other faiths. The chance of being affected by the aura is determined by the attacker's morale. A unit with high morale is more likely to ignore the aura effect. Um, I feel like I need to get a, a leader at some point. They all have about 80, and that aura effect is going to be effective against everyone who is using... Everyone's going to be using uh, Sacred Truth, which is pretty much everyone. Um, so I'm going to have a look between Ordinary Pikeneers and Black Pikeneers. I want resources with the limiting factor. Well, it is. Okay, so we're recruiting a ton of pioneers. Okay, so I said word to Daz tactic. I'm hoping to get an enormous cauldron of broth. I will see that being a need. I've offered him gems. He counter offered me asking for an item that I can't make. So trying to negotiate for. Trying to negotiate for an almost cauldron just by giving him gems. It's quite expensive, we'll see if I get it. Um, it would be great if I do. I think that's everything set up. So I'm going to work with Agatha, that's for sure now. I anticipate Van Arm helping me. We're all very concerned that Van Arm is growing much, much, much too strong. There's definitely gonna be, I, I think Agatha, I just don't know how strong his main army is. I just have, I have no information. I have all these spies, I don't see anything. I'm gonna send him deeper into his territory for sure. And just get as most information as I can. But my army is very strong, and I am confident that I can handle what's going to come. So I have to try and take the throne provinces, take these provinces, and then it oh, definitely might be time to be turned on Vanheim if I can get uh, Man and Shinyama on my side. And I think I will, because they're also very concerned about uh, Vanheim's strength. And I think if I can have a good next three turns fighting Agatha, I think I'm actually in this position where I actually have a chance of winning this game. Um, considering what I was saying in the first few rounds, I was like, oh no, there's no way I can possibly really lose such a terrible start, but things have really turned around. I really hope this army does well, and I think it will. Okay, thank you for joining me, and uh, I think the next few turns are definitely going to be interesting, so please join me for those. Might as well throw some problems to fence up. Just level 10. Just get some chaff. You know what, it's totally not worth it. Let's do that. And then my spies might actually want to capture these provinces. So next turn, I think, is definitely going to be much more interesting. Okay, thank you and bye.